What is going on guys, it's Amit, you're watching DevDreamer and welcome to lesson 20 in JavaScript. In this lesson, we're going to be learning all about the Nullish Coalescing Operator. If you enjoy the content, don't forget to like and subscribe down below and choose all notifications by clicking the bell so you never miss an update. Okay, welcome back to lesson number 20. In this lesson, let's learn all about the Nullish Coalescing Operator. In the previous lesson, we learned all about the JavaScript logical operators, not or and and. The final logical operator is the nullish operator. This is a fairly new logical operator and in this lesson we're going to be learning all about why it was created and how to start using it. Okay so let's begin. The nullish operator is written with double question marks. Now what this logical operator does is it returns the first argument if it is not either null or undefined. Otherwise it will return the second argument. Let's take a look at an example. So let's go ahead and create a couple of variables. We're going to say let game and we're going to leave this set to undefined. Just put a little comment in here. Let's say let game2 be assigned the value of null. Okay, so this is null. And then finally, let's say let game3 be assigned the value of sonic. Okay, and this is a string. Now let's go ahead and say console.log. And we're going to say the first variable there, which is called game. We're going to do our nullish operator, which is a double question mark space and then we're going to say let's go for game three before we save and see what's logged to the console let's try and understand what's happening here remember we said that the nullish operator will return the first argument so this one here if it is not either null or undefined otherwise it will return the second argument now since game and game two are undefined and null the nullish operator will return game three in this case the console will log sonic even if we said game two we still get sonic because again, the knowledge operator will return the first argument as long as it's not undefined or null. In this case, it's null, and so it returns the second argument. Now, one of the most common ways that this operator is used is to provide a default value for undefined variables. For example, let's say let user, and let's make this undefined, and then let's console.log user knowledge operator guest. So in other words, we're saying, right, if user is defined, then console.log user. If it's not defined, then console.log guest. So if we go ahead and save this, this returns guest. So why was the nullish operator created and how does it differ from some of the other logical operators? Well, to understand that, let's first note that we could use the or operator in this example to get the exact same thing. So let's change this for an or, let's save, and again we get guest. Remember, or will return the first truthy value. Since user is undefined, which is falsy, it returns the truthy value of guest. So or here works in the exact same way. Now, the reason for the nullish operator is that the or operator does not distinguish between the falsy values. So those values were false, zero, empty strings, undefined, and null. So in other words, when we use the or operator, it will return the first truthy value, whereas the nullish operator will return the first defined value. And that's the major difference between the two. You see, there might be situations where we don't want to use a defined value that is also a falsy value. For example, let's consider the following. Let's just go ahead and get rid of all this. Okay, and let's say, let score be assigned the value of zero. Okay, this is a falsy value. Now let's say that we want to log our score to the console. So we're going to say console.log score. But we also want to test to see if there's actually a score registered. So we're going to say or no score registered. So if we save this, what we get in the console is no score registered. Now do you see a potential problem here with or operator? Remember the or operator returns the first truthy value. So score is a falsy value. And since this is false, then the console returns this string. However, this wouldn't technically be correct because what score is zero, the score is still defined. So actually what we want to see in the console is the score of zero, but because zero is a falsy value, the or operator ignores it and logs the true value. So this is where the nullish operator comes to the rescue. So we have a situation here where we do want to return a defined value, okay, score has been defined, even though it's a falsy value. So again, the or operator does not distinguish between those false values, whereas the nullish operator does. So we can change this by saying, Double question marks for the nullish operator. Let's save. And now we get the score logged to the console. So again, even though zero is technically a falsy value, our score of zero 
is indeed defined score be assigned the value of zero. Again, remember the knowledge operator will return the first defined value. Okay, so that's all about the knowledge coalescing operator. To summarize this lesson, the knowledge coalescing operator is written using the double question marks. It returns the first defined value, in other words, a value that is not undefined or not null. The main difference between it and the OR operator is that the knowledge operator returns the first defined value and the OR operator returns the first truthy value. Some common use cases for the knowledge operator are when we want to provide a default value for a variable and when we want to use a defined value that is also a falsy value, like we've done here. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at your tasks for this lesson. For task number one, I want you to create an undefined variable called course and then use the console to display the course or otherwise the default text, please select a course. And for task number two, I want you to tell me what the following will return. So we're saying let course progress be assigned the value of zero. And then we're saying console.log course progress and then the knowledge coalescing operator and then start the course. Okay, so go ahead and pause the video, try these out. And when we come back, we'll take a look at the answers. So for task number one, then we need to create an undefined variable called course. So we're going to say let course, okay, this is undefined. And then we need to use the console to display the course or otherwise the default text, please select a course. So here then we want to say console.log course space and then the knowledge operator and then please select a course. So please select a course. Let's just go ahead and comment this out before we save. Let's save this and we get please select a course in the console. So what's happening here then again is because we're using the knowledge operator, which will return the first defined value, since course is undefined, the console logs the following text. If we were to say course, if you assign the value of JavaScript, and we save this, now the course will log JavaScript because course is defined. And finally for the second task then, let's just uncomment this. Okay, so we want to identify what the following will return. So we're saying let course progress be assigned the value of zero. Then we're saying console.log course progress nullish start the course. The nullish coalescing operator will return the first defined value, regardless of whether it's a truthy value or a falsy value. Zero by default is a falsy value, but that doesn't matter to us because we're using the nullish coalescing operator. All we care about here is whether our variable has been defined or not. And here it has been. Let course progress be assigned the value of zero. So if we save this, the console returns zero. So guys, well done on completing those tasks. In the next lesson, we're going to be learning about something called JavaScript control flow, which is a huge part of JavaScript and is really where JavaScript comes alive. So be sure to tune in. Don't forget to comment, share, like, and subscribe down below, and I'll see you on the next one.